Good afternoon everyone and welcome to Jess again. It's a while since we've had a video. Um, here's what we've been up to today. We've been taking the gearbox out of a Discovery 4 to replace the torque converter. Uh, it hasn't all gone to plan and I'll just show you uh, exactly what I'm working on right now to try and solve the little problems that we found. So let's just take a walk. So here's the complete exhaust system uh, removed uh, in one unit from the vehicle which is this one up here. Um, as we move forward on the gearbox, uh, so the exhaust, we've got the mid box uh, cat there, we've got a Y piece, another cat, um, here we've got oxygen center, here we have an uh, exhaust gas temperature center, and another exhaust gas temperature center. So this is from the near side turbo, this comes down from the off side turbo. There's our gearbox and torque converter, which have been removed. Here underneath the car, then, so here's flywheel, back of the engine. The offside turbo is hidden over here, uh, but we can see the, where the downpipe would come off of the turbo there. Uh, that isn't the problem side, the problem side is this side. This is our near side turbo, or the primary turbo, the left hand side turbo in, on the 3 litre. Um, I'm just trying to stick my torch and back up where I want it. Um, so we've got this little blank in the back of the turbo here just to stop any bits of metal from falling in there because this stud has snapped off as we've removed it. You can see this one the stud has unscrewed fine, this one the stud has unscrewed fine uh, but that one at the top there the stud snaps. Now I've already drilled it uh, with our little air drill. I'll show you what that looks like. So this is this is the air drill. It's a right angle air drill so it can fit in some small spaces like we have here. Um, Just like that basically, that. that's the air drill in place. So next, I'm going to try and drill that to, I think drill that to a bigger size. After that, I may try welding a nut onto it to get some heat into the hole, get some heat into the stud to try and get it out. Um, otherwise you can drill it even larger and either drill it just inside the original threads uh, and then tap out the original threads and use the original threads. Otherwise we can drill it uh, even bigger again and helicoil it using the helicoil kit and if we use that that's quite a useful uh, piece of equipment um, to help solve little problems like snapshots things like that. Um, so that's as we are at the minute. One snapped off stud. We'll see what happens in a minute or two. That first hole we drilled was a 2.5 millimetre hole. Uh, that hole we have there now That one is a 3.5 millimetre hole. Um, because I've drilled it pretty centrally, as in like uh, pretty much as close as I could ever get it to centre, I'm just going to carry on drilling uh, and I think we may be able to save the original threads. Uh, I think I'm going to try and do that rather than weld a nut on. Um, so the next one we're going for I think is a 5.5. Uh, we'll check in with you after we've done that one. Cheers guys. Okay. Let's see if you can see. Drilled it enough, and that inner piece of the of the original bolt is now loose. So I'm going to try and get that out, clean up the threads, and we should be good. Unfortunately, that didn't work. So what we're going to have to do is helicoil it. Now this is a helicoil kit. Um, there are others, we have a number of other ones in the drawer. The drawer you never want to use because it's the drawer that you have to go in for all of the stuff that you only need when something's gone wrong. Uh, anyway, here is a helicoil kit. In here we have a special size drill bit, a special size tap, uh, some very like a holder for the tap, and all these which are the, the helicoil bit, the helicoil inserts thread inserts if you like. They are threaded on the outside and threaded on the inside. So the thread, this this is a M8 by 1.25, so that's a standard M8 repair kit. So the thread on the inside of there is, is M8 uh, and the thread on the outside specifically matches this tap, um, which is slightly bigger but the same pitch thread as M8. So it's a, whatever width it is, um, 
by 1.25 and it won't tell us on that, unfortunately. It just tells us which thread we're using, which helicopter kit we're using it for. Anyway, so it's slightly bigger, maybe one or one and a half millimeters wider than the original thread, but it's the same pitch. So if the M8 is by 1.25, then those outer threads are also 1.25 millimeters uh, in pitch. Um, it's also got this little bit on the bottom, uh, which we use in the installer there, so that little slot fits into that uh, and you use that to wind it in and then you use this last little bit uh, to tap through the completed th completed thread. It's got a magnet in the middle uh, and that knocks off knocks off that little bit and because it's magnetised hopefully it will even stick to it. So uh, we're going to stick our drill, sorry, our drill bit in the angle drill, drill the hole out to this size, tap it with this tap stick one of them in, knock the thing off, and then we might be done. Let's see what happens. That worked quite well, so the compressor's on, so I'm having to shout. Uh, that hole, that hole is now drilled out to the, to the size of the drill bit for the helicopter. Uh, next is to tap that hole out. So that is tapped out to the size of the tap in the helicopter kit. Now, the problem with that at the moment is that our new bolt, this is the new bolt that will be fitting into this downpipe, uh, into the downpipe when we get there. Uh, that right now would fall all the way through, the threads don't grip at all. Um, so what we're going to do next is install the thread insert itself. Excuse me. So we're going to install this thread insert. That will screw into there. Uh, I'm going to give you that special installer for this reason because I can't do it with my fingers but that will screw into these threads and the inner threads is what our new bolt will screw into so first of all we've got to give that a bit of a that didn't exactly go to plan but that's all the drilling we should need to do we won't, we won't actually be making any more mess so that might not matter that the that the bung fell out. We'll put it back in there just in case. Uh, next then, yeah, install the thread insert and give it another go. Yes, so there's our, that's the insert screwed into the original, the, the threads that we tapped. So that the diameter of that threaded repair has now been reduced and here's our bolt that will go in when we, when we refit the exhaust. And that and that is that. Now I don't leave that in there. Don't leave the bung and we're good. If you want to do a little bit of three litre TDV6 anatomy then, so into our flex plate, our torque converter bolts onto that. Here is our timing pin hole when we're doing when we have to lock the engine up. This is our T sov or turbine shut off valve uh, that allows uh, exhaust gas to enter that secondary turbo on that side. Uh, when that valve is not operating all the exhaust gas goes through this which is our crossover pipe uh, and enters the exhaust manifold and the primary turbo on this side. Um, up there behind that plastic cover is our fuel pump belt or sometimes called the rear timing belt and um, they're a bit of a challenge to change sometimes here that's the flange the drive flange for the front diff so this being a three litre this has got some fuel pipes excuse the torch a second it's obviously a gearbox out of this but so these fuel pipes, or these are fuel pipes, they used to, they were clipped on the side of the gearbox. And um, this pipe here is our fuel pipe for the fuel burning heater. Uh, this pipe and this pipe are both breathers for the gearbox and the transfer box. And all this wiring loom that I've tucked out of the way, uh, that's the wiring loom for the gearbox and transfer box as well. So all these connectors, this connector, that connector, 
and also these wiring connectors. Uh, this wiring connector, all this wiring loom, all of those wires, they all go on the gearbox to help control the gearbox. Um, everything from changing gear, well, yeah, that's about it, changing gear in fairness, but it's all the control systems uh, and all the information to and from the gearbox and transfer box. And that's probably about it for this video. Um, we've got one repaired thread, which we're happy with now. Uh, even if it was a bit of a challenge, a bit of a chore, having to having to do it, uh, all because we needed to remove the gear, remove the exhaust uh, to remove the gearbox in order to replace the torque converter. That was our original job, replace the torque converter. To do that, we had to take the gearbox out. To do that, exhaust off, uh, and exhaust off is when we broke that stud. Um, we will now be able to get on with replacing that gearbox. Um, I will actually clean out those other two threads and the two threads on this downpipe as well. Um, nothing serious, Not we're not looking at doing anything like uh, uh, another thread repair, we're just going to clean the threads out. Um, but that's that, there's our helico kit, right angle drill, and the drill bits I used to start with. Um, the rest of the bolts for those downpipes and two downpipe gaskets. Um, that's it. See you next time. Thanks everyone, bye bye.